What's going on YouTube? Blitz here back with another video and today I'm very excited because now we have the Donruss Elite Hobby Box. I finally got my hands on one. Um, if you've been following the channel for a while, this is one of the like one of my top products from last year. Uh, I really enjoyed opening the this uh, Elite Hobby Box uh, at least from last year's um, iteration and yeah so I, and I got pretty lucky I think last last year uh, it was an online exclusive so it was a little bit harder to get uh, of course you can still get um, some boxes online now it's a little bit more expensive at around 450 uh, USD and as for this one uh, it's going for around 350 I think right now so yeah the format hasn't changed um, still gonna get uh, two autographs um, per box so there are some um, key differences definitely on the the design some uh, changes on the inserts so yeah we'll, we'll go over those in a while so you get eight cards per pack 20 packs per box so definitely a lot of uh, cards to unpack here uh, a little bit more an expensive side definitely for uh, a hobby box uh, but then you get a lot of cards and the ceiling is definitely on the high side so there is there are some case hits here you're looking at the ultra rare uh, dimensions and the past and presence so those have very nice um, you know lenticular designs and as for everything else, uh, you will have your regular uh, parallels, uh, blue, purple, gold, elites, um, and so not all numbered cards, right? And then some of the inserts like power formulas, star status, they're going to be back. And one of the biggest draws for um, elite would be the spellbound insert as well. So that is another thing that we are chasing for so yeah let's get right into it last year i think i opened uh three or two or three uh elite boxes um and there you go there is the design for this year definitely a lot simpler but it is um, a lot shinier um it looks like a blank slate uh, if we would compare that to the design from last year so there is a rookie card for Killian Hayes uh, definitely a lot less going on in the background so yeah uh, interesting design choice so DeAndre Hunter Looney Walker so our first insert is an acetate tidal waves I believe this is uh, at least not something uh, that was in last year I don't know about 2019's Elite, because I, I didn't go for that. Uh, we have Marker Fultz, PG-13 earlier, and Josh Richardson. So yeah, nice uh, insert there from the King. LBJ himself. Uh, I'm just happy that I get to uh, rip this pack today. Had a heartbreaking loss just a few hours ago. Lakers versus Clippers post All-Star game. Uh, Brandon Ingram, Patrick Bev, Dame Lillard, uh, Victor Oladipo, who I think is assigned to the G League at the moment. We have a numbered Steph Curry Power Formulas. There you go. Very nice. Blue slash 99. Okay, put it there. So Kyle Anderson, Eric Gordon, and Robert Covington. Uh, one thing about this... Uh, elite box it is not like rookie heavy of course when i say rookie heavy uh I'm talking about something like chronicles where <laughs> uh, almost every <coughs> every card is a rookie so you will get more vets here we have ricky rubio there's your parallel oh nice um uh, almost like a jersey color color match there devin booker these uh orange parallels are not numbered Okay, but they actually on videos that I've seen, I didn't really care for them that much. But uh, seeing them in person is is definitely a lot better. 
Okay, Kendrick Nunn finally on his uh, Laker uniform. Hopefully we get to see him in action soon. Same for this guy, Zion Williamson, right? Uh, Sadiq Bey and JJJ. All right. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, there is, uh, just to compare, we saw the power formulas uh, for this year. Last year's was like this. Um, I prefer this a little bit more. This uh, the this year's power formula looks very very similar to um, Selects Turbocharged, so um, you know that's why I prefer the, the last year's design. Cat, congratulations, three point champion, John Wall, Buddy Healed. All right, Charles Basie for our uh, auto. So pen pals, there you go, that is it. That is slash 149 for Charles Basie. Uh, I'm, I'm not feeling the the color of the, <laughs> the auto. Definitely like, you know, more like a smudge. Uh, but yeah, there you go, that is your pen pals. Big change um, compared to last year. So last year's the pen pals auto right there is sticker auto so this is a nice hit gold 7 out of 10 for rj hampton um, but it you know some people prefer on card um, luckily i don't mind uh, an auto is an auto so i'm happy with either one so yeah there you go uh, that is our first auto so the next one should be a vet and then let's keep it going. Kenyon Martin Jr., Terrence Ross, Miles Turner. There is another new one, which I don't believe was there last year. Glass Cleaners, another acetate um, insert there. D'Angelo Russell. Oh, man, we're about to complete the Timberwolves. I hope Ant-Man shows up. Spida, Daniel Gafford, and Joe Harris. There you go. So, you know, the base card still looks nice, right? Uh, not too too much going on in the background, like I said, but, you know, it's a nice thing. Uh, some It looks good overall with the, the hollow effect. Uh, IQ, Jay Crowder, Joel Embiid, MVP candidate, Malcolm Brogdon. And there you go. There is uh, a die cut. For Patrick Beverly and it's green slash 21 oh very low number so green slash 21 uh, not feeling the the die cut like similar to last year I, I, I was I wasn't really particularly uh, blown away by the die cut so this is a die cut from last year uh, Joe Harris uh, to me it's like you know like what, what's the point of putting the the cut over there <laughs> Uh, but this one, at least, it's uh, probably easier to, um, you know, put them in penny, hole, penny sleeves. So, yeah, because the corners aren't that sharp. Blake Griffin, Bobby Portis, Joker. All right. So there you go. Uh, let's keep it going. Definitely on the, uh, you know, I like the acetates. Uh, Particularly, almost any acetate uh, I'm a fan of. Spencer Dinwiddie, Reggie Bullock, Davis Bertans. Another orange holo for Bobin. There you go. We have Subak, Dort, Nicholas Claxton, and Mikal Bridges. So that is what? Six packs in and no rookie uh, other than our auto which is at least nice, um, rookie auto. Uh, Theo Maladin, Tyrese Maxey, balling out of control, very happy. You know, Philadelphia is really a threat now with Harden. Uh, unfortunately, they stomped the Wolves earlier. Uh, Jordan Poole, Rudy Gay. So there is your star status. There is also a die cut version of that, if I'm not mistaken. You have Bradley Beal, Darius Garland, and Kelly Olenek. 
All right. So, yeah. I think we should be getting a few more orange uh, parallels here. Uh, Rashawn Holmes, Josh Hart, Isaiah Stewart. Uh, we have another power formula for Kyrie. Okay. Not numbered, but let's put it there. And then we have Kyle Kuzma, Kemba Walker, Brandon Clark, Jay Sean Tate. I believe Kemba Walker would be uh, sidelined for the rest of the season as an agreement with, um, you know, New York Knicks management. Not sure. I haven't read through what exactly was going on there. Uh, Thomas Bryant, Jason Tatum, Tyrese Halliburton. We have a primary colors for Kevin Durant. Okay, another insert there. We have Luca and his sh beautiful shooting motion. Put it there. Uh, Facundo Campazzo, Trey Young, and Draymond Green. I saw uh, an article or an interview from Draymond Green saying that he's still a little bit um, uh, upset. Oh, nice. There you go. LaMelo Ball. If this was a rookie card, it would probably be a, a lot more, especially like the way it looks like. Um, but yeah, it's still a nice hit. Nonetheless, I was saying Draymond Green uh, was uh, sad that um, still upset that he was um, suspended during the finals. He could have been a finals MVP if that hadn't happened, according to him. All right, this is a Chris Paul acetate clarity. All right, not numbered. And then we have Colin Sexton, Aaron Gordon, who we badly need to be back in a slam dunk championship, uh, I mean, contest. Cam Reddish, Terrace Mann. Uh, although he did say that he probably will not be back after he was quote unquote robbed twice. Okay, next one we have Carmelo missed the game uh, tying shot earlier, or game winner actually. Jeremy Grant, Fernie Simmons playing really well in the absence of Dame Lillard, Kevin Werther. Oh, there you go. There's our first spellbound. H for Stephen Curry. So Spellbound actually shows you which part of that, in case you didn't know how to spell their name. I mean, it's particularly useful for those uh, uh, players that have two of the same um, letter in their name, right? So just for comparison's sake, this is the Spellbound for, from last year. Um, I like both. I don't, uh, you know, each has a, uh, is, is beautiful on its own. Uh, nothing's uh, really, I don't, I don't prefer one out over the other. So, yeah. And then the next one is, next one we have KD, Mason Plumley. Steven Adams, another orange parallel here for Cat. There you go. Uh, Clint Capella, Tobias Harris, Tim Hardaway Jr., and Isaac Okoro, sophomore. We still have seven packs left. So, you know, if you're doing this for your uh, personal break, if you have one, definitely, you know, uh, a good uh, it's gonna take up a good amount of your time lots of fun I hope you do get good hits as well Dylan Brooks Bogan Bog Bogan Markeith Morris Jalen Brunson and then our next auto is from impact impressions from Joaquin Noah Bulls legend right there <laughs> Okay, and Jordan Clarkson, Derek Rose, and Wendell Carter Jr. Who's playing well in the ma Magic? Um, 
just won a game over Houston Rockets earlier uh, in a game where Jalen Green finally was uh, playing well. So at least I'm happy to see that. Danny Green, Desmond Bain, KP, Jimmy Butler. We have a numbered RC4, David Johnson. So this is uh, definitely on the high side. You can see it's slash 999, but uh, numbered is numbered. Um, I think fr from last year's, probably the highest one was 299, uh, somewhere around there. Not Definitely not 999. James Wiseman, Jamal Murray, and Denny Abdia. Last five packs. So that is our first rookie. I think on average you are only going to get two or three. So not a lot of chance to get your rookies. For that you're going to have to go for the Hoops Hobby or uh, Don Russ uh, packs upcoming, right? The standard Don Russ. You got Derek White, Andrew Wiggins, Montes Sabonis, Nas Reed. There you go. That is your next spellbound and this is a die cut for Steph Curry. There you go. Letter T. Uh, all right, I guess put it there. It's a die cut, but not numbered as far as I can tell. Looks gold to me. So I'm just gonna say that's a slash 10. <laughs> uh, Vooch, Terry Rosier, RJ Hampton. All right, just a few more, just a few more um, spellbound cards, and we can complete stuff. <laughs> Malik Beasley, Rudy Gobert, Marcus Smart. Another orange parallel would be Jalen McDaniels. All right, the brother of Jaden, and then Shake Milton, Doug McDermott. We have Bogdan Bogdanovich, Rui Hachimura. Happy to see him back as well. Yet another one that is balling um, for the Wizards. All right. Last three packs. We have RJ Barrett. Great performance earlier. Killian Hayes. John Morant. Okay. We have another orange parallel for Julius Randle, Kyrie Irving, Steph Curry, Andre Drummond, and Dennis Schroeder. Last two packs, so we should still get uh, one more uh, rookie. Jalen Brown, Kobe White, Mo Bamba, Keldon Johnson, Another spellbound, this time for Zion Williamson. So this year you're going to be um, trying to complete the longer part of his name, his last name, Williamson. Julius Randle on the base, Devin Booker, Jalen McDaniels. And our last pack, hopefully we get our a good rookie here, unless I have already missed a rookie. We have Chris Middleton. Ooh, nice. LeBron James. Dorian Finney Smith. We have Kevin Love. There you go. Herbert Jones on a slash 999 again for the New Orleans. So that is our second rookie. Harrison Barnes, Norman Powell, and Jonathan Isaac. So there you have it. Um, just a quick recap for our orange parallels. We have Julius Randle, Jalen McDaniels, Cat, Boban, and Devin Booker. Booker being the, the best out of that stack. At least, you know, it's jersey match as well. Our two rookies, if only this was Scotty Barnes, right? Uh, but it is David Johnson and Herbert Jones. And then some nice uh, vet hits. Definitely on the, you will get a thick stack of 
um, base cards right there so double this right um, and then for some more inserts uh, you have the star status here for Dame we have primary colors for Kevin Durant power formulas a numbered to slash 99 Steph Curry power formulas uh, Chris Paul uh, so we have three acetate inserts here CP3 glass cleaner for Clint Capella and tidal waves for uh, LeBron James with a really horrible uh, print line there or mark and the lowest number card here is for Patrick Beverly 9 out of slash 21 on a die cut and for our spellbound we had three so two for Steph one looks like a gold or bronze not numbered but a die cut and then Zion Williamson. So I'm going to add that to my current uh, John Morant. So I now have four spellbound so far for this year's um, <coughs> Elite. And for our uh, autos, we have this is Impact Impressions for Joaquim Noah, which again also looks like there has a, it has a horrible print line right there unless it's by design but looks like it's not and then for the rookie you have Charles Basie on a slash 149 there you go so that is it for the f my first uh, elite hobby box for this year um, I think it's a little heavy on the uh, base cards Although the base cards lo do look nice, and of course there is value in them, like the 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 good players, you should be able to like if you if you weren't uh, collecting them, right? Um, uh, they do fetch some value, right? Like the LeBron James and uh, Luca and Lamelo. Of course, they're worth something, and they're worth collecting as well. Having two rookies. I don't remember last year's one being so uh, stingy on the rookies, but you know it is what it is. And then another one is um, the die cut. Some die cuts, like uh, I think the star status and the spellbound die cut, is okay. This one I, I don't get on the base card. Um, and some of the inserts I prefer last year's one, like I mean for design wise. Just for example, the power formulas, which um, I discussed earlier, right? But the biggest change, which is good, at least for most collectors, would be that the Pen Pals is now uh, an on-card auto rather than a sticker auto, right? So tell me what you guys think. Are you going to rip uh, a box for your own? About 350 bucks, give or take, for um, 160 cards. Definitely a lot. Um, and like I said, it's, there's high ceilings uh, for this one. Um, but yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.